Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a first person shooter with animal melee attack. I'm using Unreal Engine version 4.23.0. This is the first person blueprint template. When you create the template, add starter content. I named this Animal Melee Attack and I added the Animal Variety Pack. This is not a step by step tutorial, so not everything I show you will be in the order that they are created. For example, on the behavior tree, when I show you that, there's a service and a task that have not been created yet in the video so you'll have to wait until you see them created in the video and then go back to add them to the behavior tree search for nav drag in a nav mesh balance volume i'm not going to do that now because i already did that highlight the nav mesh balance volume, resize to cover the entire floor, and increase the height to get to the top of the wall. Press P to toggle the path on and off in green. To create the behavior tree in the blackboard, right click, go to artificial intelligence, behavior tree and blackboard. I'll double click the behavior tree. It has a sequence, the service get player, that gets the player and puts it on the blackboard. Move to the player, weight changes to 0.3, rotate to face the player, the byte player task and wait it changes to one second. The blackboard has a location key of type vector and a player key of type object and base class actor. To create the controller, right click, go to blueprint class, Expand all classes, search for AI, select AI controller, and press select. Then name it to what you want to call it. I'm going to delete this because I've already created it. I'll double click the controller. You need to program this blueprint and set BT asset to your behavior tree. Double click BTS, get player service. The object is variable type blackboard key and make sure it's public. When you're done, compile and save. Double click BTT underscore byte player task. On make literal value, and value is player. On finish execute, make sure to check success. And when you're done, compile and save. To create the animation blueprint, right click, go to animation, select animation blueprint, and select the skeleton that you want. In this case, I'm selecting the SK Wolf skeleton and press OK. 
and then you can name it to what you want. I'm going to delete this because I've already created it. Double click the animation blueprint. Double click Anim Graph. To create the locomotion state machine, right click, search for new state, and add new state machine. Name it locomotion and connect it to result. Double click the animation blueprint. Double click Anim Graph. Double click locomotion. To create the idle walk run state, right click and add state. Name it idle walk run and then connect entry to idle walk run. To create the blend space, right click, go to animation, blend space. Select the skeleton, in this case SK Wolf skeleton, and then name it what you want. I'm going to delete this because I've already created one. Double click the blend space and under access settings for horizontal and vertical enter these values. Double click the blend space and for each of these dots you're going to drag over an animation. This is Anim Wolf Idle Breathe. This is Anim Wolf Idle Breathe. And Anim Wolf Idle Breathe again. This is Anim Wolf Walk. This is Anim Wolf Walk Turn L. This is Anim Wolf Walk Turn R. This is Anim Wolf Run. This is Anim Wolf Run Turn L. And this is Anim Wolf Run Turn R. You can drag the screen dot to your different positions to see the animations work. Double click the animation blueprint. Double click Anim Graph. Double click locomotion. Double click idle walk run. And this is the Anim Wolf idle walk run blend space. To get that, you drag in this here and then connect this to result. And then on direction and speed, highlight those and right click and promote to variable and then name the variable direction and give it a float and speed and float and then compile and save and double click the animation blueprint and then go to the event graph and enter these blueprint nodes and compile and save
go to edit project settings input and you need to create this sheet action mapping by pressing add action mapping and then enter left mouse button and then close that under content first person BP blueprints double click first person character you need to create this health variable by pressing the plus and then give it a float variable type and then compile it and then enter the default value 100 and then compile and save that under content first person BP blueprints double click first person character there's four blueprints to program to create custom event right click search for custom event and name it to whatever you want in this case do shoot this has two parameters start and end and they're both vector for trace channel put camera to get this break hit results drag out out hit and then select break hit result base damage I put 25 damage type class damage type This 1500 value is the length of the trace or how far your bullet will travel. You can increase or decrease this if you want. On this word player I put a space after player. On level name I put first person example map. This is a delay, I put 5. When you're done, compile and save. Under content, animal, variety pack, wolf, meshes, double click SK wolf skeleton. And you need to create this socket wolf head socket. To do that, highlight wolf head and right click and select add socket and that will create this and then save. To create the character, right click, select blueprint class, select character and name it to what you want. I'm going to delete this because I've already created it. I'll double click the character, create the health variable, it's type float, has a default value of 100, go to viewport, highlight mesh, enter the skeletal mesh sk underscore wolf and the anim class ai wolf underscore anim bp and compile and save that. To change the walk speed, double click on character, go to character movement, search on walk speed, and if you want the character to walk, you can put in 100. I'm going to leave this at 600 because that's run speed, and compile and save that. There wasn't a sound effect for the wolf bite, so I recorded a sound effect myself. I recorded this on my laptop and then I converted it to a WAV file, and then you just import it from here. I'll double click AI Wolf character. 
there are four blueprints that you need to program. Socket name is wolf underscore dash head socket. These four nodes are only needed if you want to extend past the radius sphere or the hit area. I'm using one, so I'm not using that. If you want to use it, you increase this value to something like 10, 20, or 30, or whatever you want. Radius, I put 30, that's the size of the spear, trace channel, camera, draw debug type persistent. Normally you would have this on none when you're not debugging. Base damage, I put 25, damage type class, damage type. I'll show you how I got these out hit values. Right click, search for Spear Trace by Channel. You right click on Out Hit, select Split Struct Pin, and that gives you all these out hit values. I'll delete this. In socket name is wolf underscore dash head socket. Byte, this is the sound effect I recorded. And anim to play, anim wolf byte. Delay is the length of this animation. On the word bot, I put a space after bot. New anim to play, anim underscore wolf death. I put a delay duration 10. Pawn class AI wolf character, behavior tree AI wolf BT. Location, I copied this from the bot that was in the scene. No collision bell, I checked. When you're done, Compile and save. Press play to test. <coughs> if you're fast, you can run out of the way before he bites you. He got me twice there. 